Well, well, well. Welcome to the 25Ks in GeoGuessr. India it is. And now before we get started, I have never played a map of India. This will be the first game of India in my life with the recently added coverage to, I think, about 30 cities roughly in India. And therefore, we'll basically be exploring this country together and we'll see how well I can do or how badly I can do more likely in a country that I have absolutely zero experience in and whether my just general knowledge of GeoGuessr and how to play the game helps me over someone who might have exactly equal experience in India as me, but might not have as much GeoGuessr experience. Could be a fun thing to look at. Either way, let's get started. I also didn't, I purposely didn't really look at which cities got coverage. I have a rough idea on some of them, but I don't know all of them. So I'm probably going to have to find confirmation somewhere on which city we're in without, you know, being able to narrow it down by the fact of which cities have coverage. Either way, let us get going. All right. Yeah, another thing is basically <clears throat> you can see down there, there's a very big blur and the camera quality is pretty mediocre. Uh, the thing is, as far as I'm aware, uh, it wasn't actually like Google covering India. It was um, the Indian government, some kind of Indian institution. Hello, please. I want to go that way. Uh, themselves that took the footage and then just provided it to Google for them to use. And that's why the camera quality is so bad and there's this big blur down there. Um, but hopefully, it's. I think it's just about good enough for you to be able to read, um, you know, any writing, unless you're like pretty far away. But it's... <laughs> Kind of looks like I'm heading into the middle of nowhere here. Uh, mainly the thing I'm kind of interested in is if it's going to be worse or better than Bangladesh. Let's find out together. Um, but it does look like I'm sort of, if anything, going outside town. I mean, I'm entering another town here, but I don't think that's the same as the one we started in. Uh... It looks more like a name to me than anything else. And there was something else there, but I couldn't quite read it. Daffodils. Cool, an English school. Not really going to help us here. Okay, there's a temple back there. Uh, lots of the local language that isn't English. Let's see. Can I go over there? No, of course I can't. Yeah. Based on the language. Okay, that's a dead end. Brilliant. Uh, we can at least tell that we're more so in the northern area. Wait, isn't that exactly where we just were? Did I make like a... Did I just make a circle somehow? There's more daffodils. I mean, I didn't come back this way. So that's, I don't know, somewhat weird. Okay, please just tell me this way is going to provide us with actual information. I don't know how um, extensive the coverage is in all of the places that it covers. Wait, are we just... Wait, that's the same way I went initially, isn't it? Did I just completely... <laughs> go the wrong direction just the same way twice i mean we can try this way now because it's a different way than than at the beginning i took a, a different turn but uh okay there's a couple of houses here this is that's what i mean with like camera quality you can clearly see it's a bit well just less nice than a normal google camera it's about like somewhere between generation one and two 
of Google cameras, which isn't great, but you know, it, it's good enough, I suppose. Uh, okay. And because also I don't know how extensive the coverage is in every single place. I don't know if there will be enough information for me to find these places. That might actually be quite good. Otalwadi village. Okay. Obviously, like, I pretty much don't know any cities in, in India. Like, I know a few. Uh, I guess I could tell you about five or six. Um... But unless it's like a really big city that I've heard of, I'm probably not going to recognize anything I see. Okay, it also, it, it, I mean, it's just very obviously not a big city. Just looking around this. Let's see. Okay we got here right let me go here one step no okay can't really read much now i want to have one quick look at these signs okay but then i'd rather go this way Seems like a better road. Can't really read much on these. Sanitary inspection. Car something. Car yacht. about no no other signs you can have a quick look on whether there is a city like that um you can kind of tell given by the writing we've seen that we're more in sort of the northern like if you draw a line here we're more in the northern part but there's so many cities and i don't know if I just saw something there that I wanted to look at, but never mind. Um, I don't know if the uh, spelling of the city names in sort of the the Latinized English alphabet and the spelling of the names on Google Maps are going to be the same. So that's another sort of a roadblock that we have to get past and find out. Okay, there's nothing on that. What have we got here? Atta Power Road, Shanti River Resort, Otal Wadi. Oh, yeah, right. Uh, the Shanti River Resort. That doesn't necessarily mean that the river is called Shanti. Which would have been nice to know. Not that I think we could have found the river anyway. Okay, I just can't really get there nicely. Come on. The Tata Power Company Limited has its um, office in Mumbai. But... Does that mean we're somewhere close to Mumbai? Wait, was it Kalyan? That feels like it rings a bell, but it might be something different entirely. I don't think I can easily go back to check. What was it? it Potalwadi. I also do not think that that is something that I'll be able to find easily. Okay, I'm going that way then. 
I'll have a quick look if it just stands out immediately. Somewhere over here, maybe? There's a lot of resorts. Hmm. I mean, there's a lot of resorts everywhere here. Wait, the River Village Resort. Is that it? I don't think so. But I'm not far enough away for it to not be worth it to go back to check. Um, the Leela's Resort. But wasn't there something else? Shanti River Resort. Okay. Not that then. The one good thing, at least, in India is that at least everything is in English as well on the map. Compared to some other countries, like um, a lot of places. Uh, I don't think, I'm not sure it's actually that common in Bangladesh. I can't remember. But stuff like Japan, for example, where a lot of it is just not in English on the map. Nothing on that sign. Okay. I don't know whether to set myself a limit. I don't know. I think we'll, we'll go through round one, a limit in terms of time. I'll go through round one normally, trying to get a 5k. No matter how long it takes. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Uh, Puja Lake House. Again, Rajat, District Ralgat. Hmm. It says like tell dot before it. Don't know if that means village. Usually means telephone number. Oh, it's, no, I don't think there's anything to be there. That uh, other way. No? Okay. When you're in a somewhat mountainous area, which could theoretically help once we know roughly where we are, but at the moment it's kind of like blindly guessing. Like, yeah, cool, the company has an office in Mumbai, like every other company in India, probably. Hmm. Kind of feels like we're heading out into the middle of nowhere again. Hmm. Maybe. Is that the Daffodil School? Probably not. Sunny Farms, the Bihan Farmhouse. This will also give us a good indication on what to expect out of India. Not this location, but this whole seed. Is every location going to be like this? Or will there be more in actual cities? Agro tourism. Gen Kajat. It might be like a, a province or something like that. I don't think I've ever checked that. I have. I literally do not know a single province in India. Okay, it's not even going to tell me there. No? Oh, there we go. Maharashtra and Gujarat. Okay. How big are the provinces? Oh, they tell me like this. Okay. I 
do not see any province being similarly named to what I've just found, so I definitely want to go that way. There's a few bigger houses over there. That might be promising. It's going to be absolute hell to backtrack. Uh, maybe it actually, maybe it isn't. I do have a couple potential POIs at the beginning, so maybe I don't have to backtrack. The only thing I have to do is find the city we're in. And then find it on a map, which may potentially be more difficult. Because I may have already found this name of the city, and I just don't recognize it and haven't found it. Does this way look better, potentially? Okay, this all just reminds me of Bangladesh and how there's not much English around. Science. Okay. Uh, up there, that could be something interesting, but the camera quality is just too bad to read it. Hmm. I could check every single sign, but I just generally don't think it's worth it. About this, no. Doesn't seem like the taxis provide great information either. Hmm. Uh, yeah, please, please let me go and continue on this road. Now, come on. I doubt it's going to have anything useful, but please let me read it. Yeah, Kajat again. Is that... I don't know if it's going to be close to Mumbai. I already checked there. Kajat. Maybe somewhere around New Delhi? Doesn't look like it. There's a lot of cities starting with K, but... Not the one I'm looking for. Hmm. No. Oh, there it is. Kajat. Very small. But I found it. Good. Now, where the hell did we start? And where the hell are we right now? I think that might be more helpful, actually. I think we might be here. Hmm. This could be difficult. We kind of went north, generally. Talawali is close. Not the Wali I need. Okay. I feel like it might be worth it to actually find where we are right now. If Google allows me to do so. Ah. Oh, okay. I mean. Would that even have helped? Wait, that's eight kilometers. No. Are we like up here? Hmm. If that's eight and Kalam is twenty, then that would be twelve. And then eight should be about here, yeah. 
Is Bali Wadi, is that, that the one I wanted? I think we might have come up here. And then decided to go up there. And we're now right around here. And that was the, the arch where we could have gone up here. Yeah. Adaf Lake. So we came from there. There's also Tata Road. Okay. Very good. Now. Okay. I, I automatically go the opposite of the direction I want to go in, which is... You know what? Never mind. Of course, now it doesn't work. Brilliant. All right, let me go back to the um, side road we came from. Let me see if I can follow back. Um, well, backtrack all the way to the beginning. I doubt I would be able to. But who knows? <laughs> I, who am I kidding? I, I couldn't even remember the road I started in uh, about Two minutes after starting there. Wait, I definitely came from further over there. Came from in here, didn't I? Wait, not quite. No. Okay. Did I come from in here? Uh yes, I do actually remember that. So south. And then immediately east for quite a bit. And then there's the lake. So it's actually this road that I went down. Yeah, that's the one I, I uh, clicked on earlier anyway. So I was right on that. Let me, uh, let me go past that lake. And then we'll probably come the first task of where the hell did we come from? I think we came from here. So probably there. Oh, wait, is it this? No, I think we're just here right now. We got to go a bit further to hit the main road. Okay, that's the main road. Where the hell did we come from? I don't even remember. I know we went north a whole lot, but I have a sneaking suspicion we came from here. I'm going to follow this and I'll see. Wait, what was that? Yeah, yeah. Wait, was it? I'm not so sure anymore. I feel like this is where we came from. Probably. If we continue down this road. This is just, I mean, that's that, but this is not where we came from, is it? Or do I just, is my memory so bad that I don't remember this? It's plausible. Actually, no, we did come from here. I do remember these signs. Okay. There. Now then. Where is the turn off? Okay, whatever that is. Wait, did I come past here? sometimes difficult to judge if you're heading the opposite way because like this is not stuff that i've ever looked at from this direction i've looked at it this way so technically like if i was doing this i should recognize stuff more easily but that's a bit odd to do so let's see what do we have in here yes yes i recognize this sign so right now we're here i think 
and we continue going straight. All right, so just let me have a look. Where could we have come from? Can I already say? I don't think I can make an accurate assessment yet. So we'll continue down this road. I really hope we have some rounds in like downtown in a major city. Not because I think it'll just be that much easier, but mainly because I want to know if it is. It could be like, I don't know, the middle of a bigger Bangladesh city that isn't Dhaka. It could be horribly difficult. But it could also be like Phnom Penh, which is incredibly easy, surprisingly. Uh, where the hell are we? Yeah, right now. I'm pretty sure. Ah, yes. We definitely went. Yeah, yeah, I remember how it looked like from the other side. We wanted to go the northern way, but it kept us on this road. Despite our wishes. What I also do want to check out afterwards um, is how far we could have actually traveled here. Okay, now it gets interesting. Because now I'm not sure anymore which way we came from. Right now we're here. And I think we might have come from... Uh, from the south there. Let me go back to the signs. Yeah, I'm like 99% sure we came from here instead of the other road. Let me continue this way. And it takes a turn to the south. Just double check. I mean, I don't remember. It's not very distinctive. But I feel pretty good about this. So I went south, and we're currently going back around here. Going back south again. And back over here. And we should eventually end up here, I think. I'm sort of going southeast continuously. Now, this is an interesting part. I Yeah, we came through here, actually. Which I think is here. If I'm not mistaken. I mean, there is a road there. Uh, not a road, a, a river there. Which would suggest that, but I don't think it is, actually. So I'm going to continue down this road. Was this where we came from? It does curve that way, so it's... I've still picked the right road. I just don't quite remember if this genuinely was the one we came from. I will remember once I get back to the main road. At the intersection, very close to the start. Do I remember seeing this? Yes, I do remember seeing this. There's the Girinandini farm stay, yes. And we would hit the main road here. So, should be almost there. And that was pretty close to the start. I think we fully backtracked. I 
which can be quite difficult, but uh, continue itself. Yeah, that's fine. Should be coming up to it in a few seconds. I quite like the look of that mountain in the back there, by the way. I don't really know why, it just looks nice. Okay, here we go. This is where we went north, yep. And we came from here. Let me go back to the start. Let me judge how far away that was exactly. It wasn't super far away. But it also appears that it wasn't very close. Wait, did I already go past it? I don't think so. Continue that way. No, it would have to, the road would have to go south. So it couldn't have. Yeah, it's coming up right here. That's quite a difference, uh, the distance. If I ma oh, right, uh, opposite way. If I imagine this to be that, and I imagine a road going past it behind it. That would make sense. Then we'd imagine a road to the south. Right here. And we're just to the east of that. So we should be about here, right? Or is this the road to the south? I would suspect this to be, but... Hmm... I think... We just go here we should be on the safe side so let's go okay yep yeah. safe side it is right so that was half an hour and this looks like it's not pinpointable so that's brilliant all right i mean this isn't super far off so maybe we have a slight chance i don't think i want to go that way though mm. The game really wants me to, though. Okay. It's more of the same, essentially. Just middle of nowhere, empty highway. Which isn't really nice. I'd like to find more signs like the one I found at the very end of sort of a journey in the last round. Not at the end of the round, but at the end, of, like at the furthest away point I went to with distances to different towns. Not that I recognized any of them on that sign. So in that case, it wouldn't necessarily help, but just to give us a general idea and to give us something to look for potentially. Because we do, again, seem to be in a... Oh. Um, please no. That way. Uh, we seem to be in a pretty rural area. Like, there's a couple houses around here, but basically it's not Mumbai, it's not New Delhi. Mohidimpur Road, Dantala, Karkauda. Those might be two cities. If they are, I've never heard of them. Hmm. It looks pretty similar to the round before. Like, it's a bit less mountainous. But at the same time, I don't know if you get what I mean, but it kind of feels like the mountains are just beyond, like, the horizon, essentially. Where it, it's kind of a weird feeling. Like, it looks completely flat, but it kind of gives me a, a vibe of mountains are just around the corner. Nothing there. Lots of ways leading off the main road. Akauda again. Let me just jump off here to see if I can read something useful. Absolutely not. Cool. All right, then. On we go.
have uh, nah, nothing. Hmm. And also, wait, material recovery facility center. No, I don't want to go there. Is that like a town coming up or is this just a couple of houses on the side of the road again? Looks more like the latter. Hmm. I'm not even five minutes into the second round of India and I'm already sick of the country. Ah, uh, great. Okay. What about this? Kampur 1 Merut. Kampur Merut. One of those could be like a city or something. Is it around Mumbai? Hmm. Not that I could see. Kampur. Okay. Now Merut. I'm assuming Kampur is just a city and not also the province. No. Okay. I'm assuming Merut would be sort of a smaller village somewhere along one of those roads. Could also be a district in Kampur. Itani one Kampur one Merut. But even even if it is, it's not gonna help me much right now. But it would if I can find a different sign that tells me where we currently are. Just something that's like, hey, Kampur is 50 kilometers away. Would be cool right about now. There is a train track here, which could be very useful. Let me actually set a checkpoint down here. Uh, I think that's just a company name, nothing about an address. No. Wait. Is that a town entrance sign? Obviously not in a language I can read. And I think trying to compare it with stuff on a map would be pretty pointless. Wait, there was another sign there that looked like it might have something to say, but it's... Ah, uh, there's something on the bottom of it. Warning. Okay. Probably not too relevant then. Ah, uh, great. Okay. Not helpful. That might be there. Okay. Bulan, Shahar, Hapur, and Merut. I feel like I remember seeing Bulan, Shahar somewhere. But I might be imagining it. Hapur and Merut. Unfortunately, we don't really have any road numbers there. I have no idea how far I would have to zoom in 
or how close we even are to Kampur in the first place. I'm going to have a quick look around just to see. Hmm. Hatipur is close to Hapur, but it's not quite it. Okay, I wonder if I can... Yes, okay. Oh, 65 kilometers to Delhi. There's Bulanshar, there's Hapur, and there's Meerut, okay. That's interesting. Don't know what that thing about Kampur was done. No matter. Uh, Mohyuddin Pur is somewhere. Oh, there it is. Okay. So. Let me try and see if I can triangulate and figure out where we are right now. Merit is 19, Hapur is 15. So I think this seems like a road it could be. There's train tracks as well. Do we have that turn there? We most certainly did. Then we would have come from here, and I think this would be the road that went off at the start. That's what I'd suspect, anyway. I don't think we traveled super far. Let me go check the direction of the road. Yeah, it fits. Is that a water ski shop? Probably not, I'm going to say. And this is the road that goes off. Can I go down it? Yes, I can. Which, the MSS International School. I mean, the thing is, there isn't much else it could be. But let me try. I wonder how far I can go down it. Because if we can go far enough, it should give us a decent estimation on whether we're correct. It splits up here. Yeah, okay, it is the right one. I mean, I can do one more check quickly if the road actually continues here, which it does, on whether the next turn off is also correct. I mean, there is a turn off here. Also something up there. Yep, it's perfect. Now, the only other thing I could do is try and see if that is somewhere. It could be this. So does this have a slight road leading off it at the start, like right here? really seem like it. Let me go a bit further. There's a road. Which one is that? Would it be this one? I would suspect it would be. Yeah. Yeah, it, it has to be. So right at the start. I think we're, so we're obviously somewhere in here, but it's really difficult to judge exactly to okay it doesn't even want to load anymore fail to load the panel oh, god just no don't skip it god's sake game now i have to find it again uh which wasn't very difficult to be honest here i all i wanted to do was count one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And I assume that's that. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So we're slightly closer to that than we are to this, but it's not much. I think that's about as good as it's going to get. Maybe like slightly over there. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. Yeah, oh, that's nice. Very nice. Okay. Now then, round three. Okay, we're in a town at least. I'm not sure if it's a city yet. What do we have here? Could be interesting to pinpoint later on. I don't think it's the most difficult, but it might take a little while to ensure accuracy. Okay. That could be something that's interesting. Not with that kind of quality, though. I can't make out it. I mean... One one thing said three kilometers, I think, and one thing said one and a half. But that's about it, and just the distances alone are very useless. There's also currently a big thunderstorm going on outside, so I'm assuming that was the cause of <laughs> the game failing to load there for a second in round two. Okay, do we have anything productive in here? <laughs> Not if it's a dead end. Question is, is it actually? And it does appear to be. There isn't really any way I can progress. Okay. I mean, we have other routes to take. And I can check if there's something in this city at the beginning. Oh, we are now in the, in the southern half of the country for the first time. I don't know if that makes it easier or more difficult. Village limit goes slow. Okay, I now have the official confirmation. It's not a city, it's a village. And I would really hope, considering the other way is a dead end, that this would take me somewhere bigger. Uh, you know what? Give me a checkpoint here. I want to quickly see if I can read this, but it's probably not going to be very likely. No. Does this look like it would take me to civilization? The answer to that is quite simply no, but I'm not sure the other direction looks much better. Also, sometimes, like on this road, there's no blur from the Google car. Well, like, yeah, there is blur. But it blends into, like you can see there, like you still got the blur here. But you can sort of tell what's below you, which makes it look much nicer than, than it does in the other areas where you can clearly see, like, like here, where there is nothing below here. So I'm not quite sure why that is a thing. I don't know if there's a technical limitation that makes it so that I can't always do that. It might just be that on an empty road, they're confident that they can accurately sort of like just basically it's just there's a brown third path in the middle and there's a bit of green on the side so they can accurately replicate it in a blurred kind of way. Or with this, it might be a little more complicated in the city, but I don't really know. Hmm. 
this village unfortunately also doesn't have anything for us, so we continue. Okay, what would that be? I mean, hmm. no thank you. You know, I honestly think as well, I said all that stuff at the beginning about, you know, how big of a difference there might be with my GeoGuessr skills generally compared to someone who might not be too familiar with the game and also has no knowledge about India, same as me. I think the biggest difference isn't GeoGuessr skills, it's probably the patience. I don't think there's too many people who are, uh, well, actually, maybe, like, if... If it's someone new to the game, they might not have lost that patience yet. Where they're probably like, oh, look at how cool this is. I don't mind going through the middle of nowhere in India for two hours. Uh, whereas I think a lot of players just lack the patience to do that nowadays. This is now a problem because I don't have a checkpoint to set here. Uh, let's go east. But this at least is a major highway, so I would hope there is some sort of sign for us eventually on this. Okay. Um, I don't really want to continue that way, but let me go. No. Just that way, please. I don't know though whether there'll be many signs on this highway. Okay, that's not really. No, I'd rather rather continue clicking here to be honest. Okay, never mind. We don't have a choice. The worst thing will be if we hit a dead end here now, because I don't have a checkpoint at the highway basically, but I would need what. Ocean accident prone zone. Okay, I'm not sure that skull and bones seems appropriate, but fair enough. Uh, that could be useful information, but obviously, yep, camera quality is so bad that you can't read it. But yeah, so if we run into a dead end here, I'd have to click all the way back to the intersection. Barat Petroleum. Hmm. No? That way. This is gonna be absolute hell to try and backtrack. I don't think I'll necessarily have to go back. I think I can mostly just do it in my head. But oof, I'd really welcome a sign with good information soon. That Barat Petroleum? Might be. Hmm. Okay, it looks like there's something coming up. Don't really know what it is. Go slow. Nope, I'd rather go fast. Take diversion. Right. Okay, so it seems like it's not a highway anymore here. Okay, I just want to see if I can quickly read that sign. Mal Hatchery's unit, a unit of Golden Group's Haskaville Doda Barpur. 
That might be a village name. Probably is. But there's basically no chance of me finding it unless I know where to look roughly. Hang on that. Overall, at this point, it does unfortunately seem like there isn't really much information in India other than those green signs over the roads that tell you, hey, this X is so many kilometers away. At least none that I can read, basically. Oh, there we go. Okay, it is, but does that say 0 0.5? I think so. Hosur is 109 and Devanahali 25 was scored to 51. Hosur. Is it big enough for me to see at the zoom level? Oh, that's not it. That's close, but not quite. Hosur, there it is. And then 51 to Hoskote. Uh, this looks like kind of to the east. We're apparently close to Bengaluru. Hoskote is up there. Okay. Devanahali is there. And from there. We have a Dora Balapura, which is here. Now the question is, this is in half a kilometer. This road is pretty much very straight west east. Which could mean this. Could mean we came through here, could mean we've come from there. Could mean we started like right around here. That's one potential road let me think for a second is there any other main road it could be i highly doubt it which leaves us with a north south going road that has a road that comes off to the west which this seems to be the most likely possibility of that seems unlikely none of those seem particularly likely so I would suspect we go back here and that we've come from somewhere here or if not here, ah, that looks unlikely. Okay, you know what? We're heading back to the checkpoint. What's the, the easiest way to check if this is right? Going north from here, put me at the check, put another checkpoint down basically again. And there's an interesting S turn immediately. Okay, which would suspect this uh, would mean it's probably not that actually, or the map is outdated, which is a possibility, but seems unlikely. Hmm. But I am pretty sure it would have to be that road. Either way, let me actually continue north for a little bit here. Also pretty northeast actually. Then there's another S curve kind of. And then there's pretty much a four way intersection. It's all very weird and definitely not where we are from the st Oh I mean kind of, but it doesn't have that turn off. we travel that far? Don't know what else really is an option. Hmm. I mean, yes, but no. That's an S curve in the wrong direction. Not really. You know what? I think I might have to go all the way back to the south here. 
This is where you came off. I mean, the road is kind of actually sort of towards the southwest. It goes a little bit more straight south here. And there is another village that I completely forgot about it existing. It's reasonable to assume that um, intersection might be a lot more north than I was originally looking for. Continues going southwest. I just want to make it to the highway intersection again. There is something going off here as well. And then it took a complete turn and went east. I completely forgot about that part too. Okay. It was so much further as well. All right. And then it kind of goes north-south again. I'm assuming we're now close to the highway. As far as I can remember, at least. We can just go fast, please. Yes, okay. So it did start off north south, but then quickly went off the rails, essentially. It couldn't be that, though, I don't think, unless it's here. I mean, with a bit of imagination. I don't think so. That would also lead to here, though. And that has the S-curves. Now, that might actually be it, that we genuinely started here, in this mess. Or even back here. I don't quite know about that. And this would fit like a lot of self going at the end there, but that part here, that part here, I think those combine rather well. So, with that out of the way, let's get down this road again. Making a quick check. Yeah, that fits perfectly. I don't remember how far we traveled here. Internet is slowing down slightly. It's not great. Please just load. Otherwise, I can't actually see what's going on. Is this the village that we've come from? No, I think we went through here. I think we just went through here. I look back. Mm, I mean, I can't say for certain, but I am relatively confident. It would be the next village. Be the one where we come from. Yes, I remember this. Wait, but that would be that, and we came from here. So it's this village, actually. Wait, that was the one I pointed out early anyway. Okay. Put a checkpoint here, but I'm pretty sure we started here. Now the question just becomes, where exactly is that? But that is a unique road feature here, or sort of unique at least. I'm not sure 
I can see that anywhere in here. Let me go off to the east here again. That seems fairly standard, sort of southeasterly, more so just generally east direction. Wait, that's not the same split up as early, is it? Wait. Or is it? No, that's a different one. Wait, 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 what? Was it that city after all? It might have been. We might have started up here. Is that genuinely the... Yeah, that's... That's weird. Okay. Where did... I'm so confused right now. They didn't have to travel far at all to get to there, into the city. So did I just... Wait. Let me actually go through here. Did I just travel through the city earlier? And then get to... Yeah, I think... Okay, never mind. I think we're up here. Because that would replicate this very well. And then it's just straight ahead. Yeah, we have to be. Okay, nice. That round played with my head. Oh, no. Why? What about a round in New Delhi? What, a round, what about a round in Mumbai? What about a round that's not in the middle of nowhere? Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah. You like the new game mode? Or black screen? Okay. I mean, that's at least a bigger city coming up, so it might not be too difficult this time. I don't know who's burning stuff there, but... Figure it out, I guess. This is burning. I don't know if that's... Oh, please, no. Oh, no. But there's a city there. Google car, please. You could drive through that. A bit of smoke. Ugh. All right. I don't know if that's, like nature burning things if someone actually set fire to that ah either way we can't go through it sort of like a natural border huh you could have definitely gone through that smoke without any problems Makes for a good thumbnail, at least, I suppose. Normally, my process for that is just go back, like, think about what was some of the nicer places or more distinct places and just take a screenshot of that. But this time, I like, I like figuring out these things during actually playing the challenge. It means I don't have to think about them later. Just have to remember them. But, yeah. Pretty easy in this situation. Okay, where are we? There's a Y intersection. Which is probably going to be nice for confirmation. Later on. But it would require me to first find out anything whatsoever. At this point, I don't even think I know which like half of the country I'm in yet. Sri Karan Memorial Public School. Government recognized. Okay. Does that imply non-government recognized schools? I'd imagine it does. 
They even have their own logo. I don't think my school had its own logo. Not that there's any need for one. School bus. Bargain Public School. That says Delhi, doesn't it? Now, uh, where the hell are you taking me, Google Street View car? Yes, affiliated to CBSE Delhi. Okay, that doesn't mean we're anywhere close to it necessarily. Uh, that's slightly annoying. And again, even if it would, I don't think I've got anything to narrow it down yet anyway. Maybe that was a good point for a checkpoint, but too late. What's that? Just a stone? Just a stone. Okay. What about that marker? 15 to something and one kilometer to something else. That's one of the other disadvantages of the massive blur is that it becomes really difficult to see things that are and read things that are low to the ground because you have to be pretty far away from them to even see them and that makes it very difficult combined with the poor camera quality to read them. Not that they have any particularly useful information unless you can read the language here anyway or are already in the close vicinity with your search. I mean, if you're like, you know, this is like 20 kilometers away, then you can maybe double check with those, um, with that writing, but. Uh. Okay. I know which part of the country we're in, at least now. Can I not go to the south? I can't even go to the north either, which is super annoying because that might have helpful information. It's not guaranteed it does. Because a lot of what I can read there is in a local language. But wait, 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 wait. Can actually. Nice. All right. Let's go. Can't read shit. Okay. 12 and 16 aren't helpful. 34, like, maybe. If I get super lucky, that's something I can actually recognize somewhere. Just trying to match up the first letter to some of the bigger ones. Maybe I can make it out. That seems like it might actually be worth my time. I can't even find that letter. It's not this, is it? I don't know how this writing system works anyway. It's clearly not one symbol per letter because that's four symbols it looks like and that's more than four letters and i can't find that letter anywhere anyway that's this letter this here is the second i would assume that's a double l potentially that's maybe i a And what, what would that be? Looks kind of like a key a bit. Uh, I think that might be this, which would be, I'm going to assume DU. So it's dull something. I want to see at least how close I can come. I mean, that looks almost the same. What was the do something? Uh, hmm. there's this again and it's not a double L here okay I think this I think this is just hopeless unless I can actually find the right city which I don't think I'll be able to 
because it's probably not all that big. Hmm. Might still be worth it to put a checkpoint here. And I'll just go that way anyway. And hope for something. That's written in a script that can read. I've also got no memory whatsoever about the path I've traveled to get here. I know which way I didn't go at the start, and that's about it. Looks like there's a couple houses again on the side of the road at least. Also looks like the game is bored of loading and has decided to stop doing so. Okay. I mean, I could potentially look around Delhi if I can find something that would look like it fits roughly. Because it did say associate. Wait, it was this, wasn't it? Bulanchar. This is risky, but wait. I'm not sure this matches up, but the first two do. If only I could remember more. You know what? This doesn't look promising anyway. Yeah, it's definitely this. Still not quite sure why this, why this seems to be a little bit missing from that, this part here, but... Maybe the point there makes up for it? I don't know. Apparently 34 kilometers away. And this is 7 kilometers in the same direction. Um, now what could that be? <laughs> Thirty-four kilometers. We've realized is quite a distance. Is it that Jihajha? Yes, it is. Okay. So we might be here right now. Maybe. What do we have in the other direction? Twelve kilometers straight on until we reach this. Can't really find it's this, isn't it? Dankawa, yes, it is. That seems a bit weird. So 12 kilometers from that, seven from the actually, it doesn't seem that weird. We might be somewhere around here. Actually, we've been be much closer to this one, so maybe here. And I don't think 16 down that way is even going to be too relevant. Although it might be the direction we came from, so maybe it is relevant. Let me quickly see. I can figure that one out too. Um, is it Jawa? Yeah, it's Jawa. Okay, like maybe here somewhere, like seven, twelve, sixteen, sixteen. That seems a bit far. Rabupura. Maybe if it is here, like seven here. 12 here and 16 down there, I think makes sense. I think that was like the first one I pointed to for it being where we were. 
and then I decided to go somewhere else. But I think that makes sense. Let me just double check. There's an, it's an interesting intersection. I think it's the right one as well. Oh god, that's going to be awful to pinpoint. Uh, I don't remember how far I went. I've definitely come from here. Can I actually get back on that road? I don't think I can. Okay, well, whatever then. We'll go back to the start and think about this. I mean, that's brilliant. <laughs> I can see so much of the floor. Um... I might have come from here, actually, or here. Okay, I think I'll have to try this direction again. There was a Y intersection, I remember that. Not too far away. Uh, it's not this one. But that also might provide some helpful information. I don't know where this, this would lead us, but... We'll leave that question unanswered for now. Okay, the Y intersection was a bit further away than I thought. But I should come up to it any second. I think. How far did we travel to get to that? What did I... Was that in the other direction? Did I just mix that up no here it is that was super far is it this one it might be that would make sense too so if we continue that way it should split up and we went the northern route in relatively short time Whether it will load or not, I will find you. There's a school there. That shop? No, it does not. Okay, and there's the split up. We went north. Yep, yep, yep. Right. That leaves us with where the hell is this? It's kind of a little bit of a curve still there. It could be like here and have that curve there and then bring it back around. I think that makes sense for it to be here somewhere. Unless it's like here and this, but that's so... Mm, I don't think so, but we're super close already to the town. So it might be that after all. Because that took forever and we're already closing in on the town, so it has to be that, doesn't it? Okay, I can do that better here. It's just one spot away. That kind of makes sense. That makes more sense in my mind, but that was super far and that's super close, so I just can't imagine it. Either way, if we assume we're here, and we follow this road, there should be this, this specific thing here. Hmm. I mean, that is a bit of a curve. And at the end of said curve, I mean, there is cars here. It does go north, which could be this way, uh, this route here. Let me continue a bit and see if that curve matches up. Yeah, it does. Okay, so this is that. Good. I mean, that's 
I've said enough um, negative things about, you know, the camera quality and the big blur, but that's the one thing I have to commend them for here in India. Like, they covered every little side road there is, it feels like, sometimes. Okay, that's a side road. Is that just one direction? It might be. If that is, then there should be a... a uh, bi-directional I guess road coming up soon which is this one yes okay so this is relatively straight wait I have an idea counting one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13 and a half to this. One, wait, yeah, okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fifteen, sixteen, sixteen and a half to this, which I think is this. I think we're good right around there. Yeah, you know what? We're going with it. Oh, that's so far further in that direction. Ah, shit. Okay. That's a shame. Was I right with that being that? Or was I just off? Yeah, I was off on that. I thought it was this, not this. Uh, I thought it was this. That road. That road. That's why it was so off. Okay, that's... Ah, that's unfortunate. Well, nothing you can do. We've got one more round. And, okay... Interesting. It's not a city center of a major city again, but it looks more urban. What have we got here? No English. There's some, but I can't read any of it. Do I actually? No. I want to go that way. Ah, uh, do I? No, not really, no. Let's see what uh, the center of the town has to offer. Okay. Not much. Uh, but maybe. Ooh, sort of like interesting. Very interesting. Very narrow roads. Sci Clinic. Ritka Panvel four ten two oh six. Okay. Tata Sky Dish TV. Okay, that's just a dead end. There is two routes here. Where does the other take me to? No? Come on. There you go. Takes me up here. Also doesn't seem much better. Is that just another dead end there? Can you actually know you can go through? It 
kind of looks similar to round one with the mountains in the background. I wouldn't be surprised if we're somewhere near Mumbai again, but we really have nothing so far. Other than dead ends everywhere. Brilliant. No, well, let me go that way. Let's see. <laughs> now I'm on famous Chinese corner. Mm, okay. It opens up a bit here. But again, I don't think there's anything right here. Nothing I can read. It still looks like a bigger city. Well, not a bigger city, but not a super small village. I'm going to read that sign, the other one. Also, nothing on that. Okay. Hmm. And it looks like we're out of the town again. The problem with this one is also that it's like really rural in the way the road looks. So this is not like around where I'd imagine a sign coming up saying like, hey, this is there any second. It's more like I think we need to get to a bigger road first. And I just don't know if a bigger road even exists here. So far, it doesn't look like it. just looks like it leads more into the mountains. I don't think we'll hit the time of Indonesia, by the way. I was at some point considering if that's, uh, if that was something we might reach. But we've still got about an hour until then and I don't think this round is going to take that long at least I hope it doesn't I mean if we continue going back and forth on this curve for another 10 minutes it might do I want to go further into the mountains I don't think it's a good idea but I'm, at the same time I am curious on how far this road would take us and I kind of expect it to hit a dead end sooner rather than later. So I don't really want to waste a checkpoint. Because that could be pretty bad if there is a dead end coming up here. So um, I'd like to make sure first. Okay, nothing I can read. Closing in. I don't know, it has a, like a almost kind of like an Australian vibe to it out here in, in the middle of nowhere. Obviously not if you see any buildings, but kind of the landscape and the, the mountains remind me a bit of it. Okay, there's the dead end I was waiting for. Nothing there either. Okay, we go back this way, and this time we'll go past the village. And we'll continue to explore this road.
errors move sometimes and I have to move my mouse along accordingly. Okay. Am I coming into a city here? It does look a little bit like it. But we've had plenty of street view coverage that just end right the moment before we get into the city. But this one looks a bit better, maybe. Sharon English School. This is the part I would like to read, but there's no chance of doing so. I do have something that's also just not really readable. Like they're the kind of thing where if you know if you already have a good inclination of what it says, then you can probably make it out. But if you've had if you've got no idea what it could say, then you're not gonna be able to read it. It's kind of an interesting phenomenon actually. Where you can read stuff better if you know what it says. Uh, District Rygard, Vaya. Vaya somewhat seems like seems familiar. Did I see that somewhere? I was scrolling along earlier. I might have remembered Vapi instead of Vaya, but I'm gonna make a quick check. Doesn't look like it. Is there one around Mumbai? Where I could have recognized it from. Doesn't seem like it now. District Raigad. I'm assuming districts are not like these big things. Well, even if there were, none of none of them are called Rygard. Do I want... No, yes, I do want to put a checkpoint down here. It might be useful later. Wait, I want to at least read that. Never mind. Looked potentially readable, just zooming past it, but yeah. I do think it's gonna be the second longest 25k's in Duke Esser episode, though. I think there's a pretty big gap behind Indonesia. I'm not quite sure what the second longest is. I think there's a couple that are just over an hour. I think Australia is for sure. But yeah, this is definitely the second longest. What have we got here? Maybe I could have used my checkpoint for this. But in all honesty, this direction doesn't look great anyway, so I'd rather go this way. What do you have? Nothing. Very nice. United Shotokan Karate Association. Okay, Rygard again. Rygard. Let me finish reading this. Hmm. Strict Rygard. Hmm. It might be that India would have sort of like provinces, but then districts below the provinces. 
which I obviously wouldn't be able to see, kind of like uh, the Philippines do, which would be annoying. It would mean I only hope here is um, that the district is named after a city. I can't find a city called Raigat, so not sure about that one. I poor, it was so close. Mm. Yeah, unfortunately, it doesn't seem like it. Is Rayapur? Mm, nope. Okay. We continue. And hope for better times or something. A small little river. No, please not. Not that direction. Hmm. Nothing on those. Central Bank of India. I don't think I want to go that direction. Continue this way. That might be something I'd like to read, but New Pandal. Not the first time I read something like that. Unfortunately, they've put the address on the wrong side of the board. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, but I still think it's too blurry. Yeah, I can't read it anyway. Unwell might be something else to also look for later. I wish I'd have a quick check right now. Anything near Mumbai that's named similarly? Anvil. I mean, maybe. The problem is that I'm not super confident about it. It could be there. I think it also said New Panvel. So maybe New Panvel is somewhere entirely different than Panvel. And frankly, either way, I have no real point of reference to look for. I mean, there's a river running across, uh, alongside us here. And it looks like we might be coming up to a bigger city. So... Assuming that, I mean, somewhere here might not even be the worst idea. Maybe that was where the road would have just gone off, and then this is where we cross the bridge, and we just start somewhere in here. I mean, I wouldn't be shocked if it was somewhere there. But before I can confirm that, I need to go a little bit further in that direction. Wait, was there just something there? I'd like to quickly... 
they spell there's old Punville. Yes, Punville is in four kilometers to the west. I think that actually makes sense. Is there a bridge here? There is. Yep, I was completely right we were on this road. Now the question is how far up this road were we? If I go back to the start, it's the smart eco park. I saw that. Uh, where did I see it though? Wait, I did see that, didn't I? There's the smart eco park. So we'd be here, maybe. I mean, the road direction matches. There's one house here. A few houses generally. And if we continue this way. For a while. There's a road up there. And then we continue. And they would lead us north here. And there's a few interesting split ups. Yeah, it is actually. <laughs> okay. Right. Perfect. Nice. Okay. That was a pretty good round, I think. I mean, comparatively, considering it's really out there in the middle of nowhere. I mean, a smart eco park shows up pretty quickly. And there's a couple things to say, Ponville here. But I'm just glad that, like, the, the, uh, the uh, surroundings, the landscape already made me think, okay, we got to be somewhere in a similar area uh, to round one because the mountains look so similar. It was actually quite far away still but yeah not bad uh actually i did want to have a quick look at how uh sort of in depth the coverage was all the way out there and it is pretty in depth i mean if you look around it covers quite a bit of the outskirts and the real middle of nowhere what is that why would you even okay sure Anyway, yep, so that, interestingly, like, very similar areas. I mean, like, you had Mumbai, Bangalore, and uh, New Delhi. Just, you know, far outskirts all the time. But there is quite a bit of coverage that's new as well in sort of, like, this part here. Ahmedabad, uh, Vadodara, Surat, um, in Hyderabad as well. So, a bit of a shame that we only got those three areas, basically, and nothing here. Let me see, out of curiosity, like, how does this look like? I mean, it doesn't look much different, but, yeah, I think I'm, I'm okay with that time. I would have liked to get the 25k, considering it took almost two hours, but, yeah, just slight mistake there, unfortunate. I just already know, like, <laughs> having that, having an Indian round in one of those those games that are like three minutes per round. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not pinpointing those. There's no chance. Anyway, so that was the 25 Ks in GeoGuessr in India. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys again next week. Till then, bye.